Hi guys, 3D printing again. Haven't quite finished using up my blue filament, but I have started on the orange because I thought this might look nice, multicoloured. Um, Greg Zumwalt designed this one, downloaded the files from his uh, cult site, I think it's called. A bit like Tinkercad, but different. A bit like um, thingy ears, but different. I've printed more parts than I need because I've printed the plain wheels and the ones with slots in them that you can put rubber bands around or rubber tires. I haven't cleaned these up at all yet. Got a little bit of stringiness from the new filament. That's our spring. I probably ought to go and look at the instructions, to be honest. Always seems to be a good idea to do something like that. That's clearly going to go on there, one way or the other, so you might have to go and check the instructions. can't remember what the difference was between those two. A version one and a version two, I think. Mm, yeah, got a little bit of um, ele elephant's foot, as we call it, where the lowest layer of the filament spread a little bit. So I'm going to have to clean that out a bit. You can see it almost goes on. That's going to go on there. And that's going to go on there. Then on here, this is the actual. Oh, dropped a bit on the floor. This is the actual chassis. Yeah, gonna have to do a little bit of tidying up where my filament has spread a little bit. I'll get the files out and do it properly in a second. Had some post delivered. Yeah, those don't quite fit all the way through, but they will do when I tidy them up. So, if you can see what I'm saying, they don't quite go all the way through. It was that way up on the print bed and the very bottom layer spreads just a tiny bit. Possibly because the beds might be a little bit too hot and it allows it to spread a bit. That's my printer, not his design. That's going to go like that. Those are axles that go through. Quite a lip on there. All right, I'm going to have to do a fair bit of trimming. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Trim it up and go and watch the video. Let's 
better. Do that to the rest of them. I think we're ready to assemble it now. I've used my needle nose files and the big file to trim all the bits and pieces. Those wheels I'm not going to use. That I don't need because I've got one and I've got a spare axle as well. Basically I just printed everything that was in the zip file. I didn't actually need to print some of the bits if I'd have known what they were for. So we have one half of the body onto which, uh, hang on, let's get this the right way around. That's going to go in there like that. That is going to go on there. That way around, I think. Yeah. Then I think does that go on? That will go on there, but I think that's gonna go on there first. It's got to be that way round, it can only go one way. Okay. Wheels, I've put rubber bands round them at the moment. So that's going to go in there. That's a little bit tight. It's going to go on there. That's going to go in there. Probably no, that's okay. That's in there. That one's going to go on there. Further, but we'll do it like that, and that one we'll go in there. I think that's it. And it looks like oh, I don't know. Which way do we wind it up? That way. Okay. He has got another design. It's got an idler gear there, so that when it gets to the end of its run, it keeps running. Whereas this one will go backwards and forwards because it will wind itself up again. It works. 
I'm not entirely sure whether I've missed something there. That Maybe I just haven't, maybe I've cleaned it up too much and it's not as tight as it should be. Well, there we are, you saw it. I put it together. <laughs> and the wheel fell off. Yeah. I've obviously made that a bit. Um, I cleaned it up to make it slide on. I've probably done it a little bit too much, so now it slides off as well. I could put a little drop of glue on there, but I won't. We'll give it a run. bit slow picking up the camera there sorry about that I was going to chase it <laughs> try that again pick the camera up ready That's where, if it had the idler gear, it would keep going. But at that point, that's where the springs come to an end and it winds itself up the wrong way. That is brilliant. What can I say? Excellent, Greg. Easy to put together. Of course, I will now have to go and print the other one with the idler gear on it and see if we can get a better distance. Very pleased with that. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, and check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.